Good morning, y'all. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 5. Y'all, I just love these pajamas. Okay, they are so freaking comfortable. And I stole Leonard's because he didn't want them no more. So now I got two pair. But anyways, girl, I forgot to put in, switch out my braces last night. And I'm about to do them right now. This is gonna be the first time that I do them in the day. I usually do them at night. This is week 13. Ah. Uh. Mm, mm, mm. Oh. Okay. When you first put them on. Mm. Yeah. Uh, push them on there real tight. Uh, but they went down. They all the way down. So today's agenda. Um. I have orientation today. Two orientations. I'm going to, ow. I'm going to uh, Upworks orientation at, what time is it? Child, I forgot. But then I got another one for the home health care today, but that's virtually. And that's later today. This one, this other orientation is only like an hour. So we're going to see what Upwork is all about. But am I going to record that? I'm not sure. I probably will. But what I want to do... Mm, what I want to do is I went to the doctors the other day. So I want to give you guys an update on the VSG. Not even VSG because I'm doing... The um, VSG is the uh sleeve i'm doing the gastric bypass so i actually got um a sleep i didn't want to the sleep study a doctor's appointment so let me go ahead and show y'all what happened there and then yeah we will continue on the vlog i think i'm what i'm gonna do is for these next three days because i think i have like three or four vlogs that i put it that i didn't put out before vlogmas so maybe these next three or four days i'm gonna give you all those vlogs and then we'll resume with the um up to like the real in real time um vlogging okay so enjoy this video y'all happy vlogmas day three or shit five <laughs> Very, very tired. My um, Dexcom kept me up all night because my insulin is um, my sugar. That's my insulin. My sugar has been dropping a lot lately. And the early, early mornings, like this morning, it woke me up. And by the time I actually heard the alarm, because it must have been going off and I just didn't hear it and he didn't hear it either. When I woke up, my sugar was 52 and I was so shaky and I was just like, oh my God. So I go to the doctors this week um, and we're going to have them adjust my insulin because I for sure don't need no more 60 units no more. They can bring me on down, on down, on down. And I like that. Um, this still say signal loss. Oh, because I was not, okay. That's because I forgot to take this with me, but it's on my phone. So yeah, that's been a struggle, but uh, let me get into this vlog, okay? Hey y'all. 
So we're doing our sleep study appointment. This parking structure is so freaking scary. It's like underground. So, let's see. I filled out all this paperwork and then I left the packet. I put the packet next to the door. And I said, don't forget the package, Sharon. And uh -huh. I forgot the package. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we don't realize till you're here. Mm -hmm. like, oh, great. No. <laughs> Approximately how tall are you? Five seven. Five seven. Okay. Perfect. Okay. I've never done that before. I'm actually borrowed in because I'm a respiratory therapist, so I'm borrowed in oh, from okay. the main hospital. Okay. And to come help them out, and they're like, oh, the next time. Yeah, that's weird. The next time, so that what is that for? Like for the machine or something? If people in, have to get it. In case someone has to get like a machine. Okay. All I need from you. Okay. Um, if you'd like, you can gather your stuff and I can take it over to your room. Okay. Okay. So they took my neck size. I think she said it was 20. Like, is that a regular neck size? <laughs> so now I'm just waiting for the doctors to come in. I made it, child. Put all, all this paperwork in there for still forgot it at the house. So yeah, that was that was cool. But yeah, so I'll get on the routine. I'll see if they're gonna record and if they do, we're gonna do it. If not. I give the update when I'm done. More of a clearance and symptoms. Right. All right, but I'm going to go over them anyways. Yep. <laughs> no problem. All right, so you do snore. Yes, that's what my husband says. But he says it's not like often. It's only when I'm like really tired. And uh, has he ever said you stop breathing? No. Uh, you ever wake up choking gas for prayer? No. All right. And you said no to most of these. And then you do kick sometimes in your sleep? Yes. Your poor husband, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> he says I move and like take the cover. So like when I wake up, my side of the bed does like my sheets like come off the yeah. bed. But you know, I'm just so bossy, but I've always been a wild sleeper. Yeah. <laughs> right. And you do wake up a lot at night. Uh, um, mostly like at 3 a.m. Yeah. Nice. Um, and that's like maybe three times a week. And you know why you wake up? Any no. reason, just wake up. I just wake up. Yeah. Uh, it goes into the sleep schedule then. Mm -hmm. So it looks like you go to bed at 9, 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. And then you wake up 5, 6 in the morning, bright mm -hmm. and early. Yeah. And you fall asleep pretty quick, so that's good. Yeah. And then sleep 7, 8 hours. You mm -hmm. don't always wake up like you were just telling me. Mm -hmm. And do you work or go to school or anything? Uh, no, right now I'm on okay. the play. Okay. And do you nap? It says maybe. Yes. yes, maybe. Yes. <laughs> so if I get a chance, I do like to take naps around like 12. Okay. <laughs> but it's not like often. It's after like I clean or before I start to cook dinner or something. Okay. I don't take a nap. Uh, how many times a week if you get to say? Three times, three or four times. Those are mandatory, man. That's yes. self care. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> two, three, four, five, so not too sleepy. Uh -uh. Number one question I need to ask here though. Uh -huh. Any issues while driving, like you start losing focus, no. drifting, good. That should be number one, don't want you to fall asleep. Yeah. All right, so that seven, uh -huh. so no issues with sleep either. Yeah. All right, now for the other history. So I see asthma. Uh -huh. Have you seen a lung doctor at all? Uh, no. Have you ever had the Test where they put you in a big glass box and breathe in a tube. Mm -mm. Uh, do you have any inhalers? Yeah, I have an inhaler and I have a, um, a machine, the nebulizer. nebulizer. But I only, my asthma only flares up if I get sick. So I mm -hmm. keep away from like sick kids and sick adults um, because when I do get sick and from someone else or I get sick, I usually end up in the hospital because okay. my asthma gets like so junky. Yeah. So I like am like really really careful now because it's, it's been maybe like the last four years that my immune system has kind of changed as far as like getting sick. Mm -hmm. um, my asthma used to be a I used to have to use my hair a lot and I don't have to use it as often anymore. Only when my weather changes or if I'm getting sick or like if I'm working out too hard, then I'll have to use my inhaler. 
So like, let's say like now, because it's kind of snowing, mm -hmm. but really cold, are you using your inhaler? Um, no, but I do, uh, I forgot to put the medicine, I do take Singular. Do you take Singular? Yeah. And I think it's five milligrams, I think. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, and then I already saw the, a lot of the other pills. Yeah. And then I see you're taking a prenatal. Uh, I'm not pregnant. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, I have low iron. Uh, my okay. dietitian just started me on prenatals. Alright, and have you ever had any surgeries in this area? So yes, those... I've had a deviated septum repair done here. Mm -hmm. um, I've had a colonoscopy done here. And that was it. When I did have my deviated septum surgery, I did have a, when I woke up from the anesthesia, they said it made me angry. So they end up giving me um, Halidol. Nice. Uh, so that's the only thing, like, I didn't have that problem when they put me to sleep for the colonoscopy, only for the deviated septum, which I don't know why. I'm like, I'm a really nice person. <laughs> so, Anyways, uh, um, let's just like, say sometimes anesthesia makes people do yeah, crazy things. It does. <laughs> you see what the videos for. Um, yeah. Any tonsils removal? No. Okay, good. And uh, what was I going to ask? Do you smoke at all? No. Uh, any marijuana? No. And then any form of caffeine, that can be pop, it can be tea, mm -hmm. coffee, no. nothing. No, no. I don't like coffee, it tastes funny. I uh, drink water and crystal light. All right, I'm, I'm cool with that. Okay. I got a question to ask you. Okay. Because most of the time what we do is we do a, what we call a split night study. Oh. A split night study. Okay. So what usually that entails is the first half is the typical diagnostic portion. Okay. And the second half they fit you with a CPAP. Okay. Uh, that's what we usually do. Okay. Uh, but I know you're doing this specifically for the bariatric surgery. Mm -hmm. So the question is, if we were to, if you had sleep apnea on mm -hmm. the test, is undergoing CPAP treatment something you're interested in? Um. Like. If I need a machine, yeah. I don't think I need a machine, but... Yeah, if you do. If I do, well, I guess, yeah, but that'd be freaking weird. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so the reason why I'm asking you, because if we put in just a diagnostic portion, and Dr. Sakari's gonna give the final. Uh -huh. If uh, we put in just a diagnostic portion, you will not get any of the uh, CPAP part of it. But we do the split night, and so they first they have to diagnose you. If they don't diagnose you, it doesn't matter. Okay. But if they diagnose you in the first half, then they put the CPAP mask on and we can find a good pressure for you. Okay. That's what I'm asking. Oh. Okay. Are you going to do that right now? No, no, no. That's going to be scheduled. It's so important. Okay. Do you think I need that? I don't think I need that. Um, I'll see what Dr. Sankari thinks, but usually if we're going to head down that pathway, I would recommend doing the split night study. Mm -hmm. So that way, if you do have it, then we have the second part already done, we have a pressure. So it's like two birds, one stone if you have it. Okay. I mean, I guess, but like, how long is that going to take? I just, I'm just trying to get quick yeah, surgery. Yeah. yeah. So, um, the actual scheduling of it, we'll find out before you leave. Okay. It's probably going to be like a month, I'm assuming. So, how long it takes to schedule, unless there's a cancellation that puts you on like a short call list. Okay. And then. Do I have to do that to get cleared or not? For bariatric surgery? Right. They often ask, yeah. So, it's usually the surgeon preference, but I've seen them ask. Alright, I mean, I, I guess if we have to do it, we have to do it. I was just yeah. trying to knock out my appointments out in December to get on schedule by January. Yeah, so that's going to be up to your surgeon because they're, they're the ones that probably said that you need to get cleared or is it your endocrinologist? Uh, my surgeon told me I had to get cleared through a sleep study. Yeah, so then you're going to have to get one done. Okay, <laughs> well, that's, I guess. Yeah, and then, you know, when we see the dates, if it doesn't work out, anyone we'll tries someone else, we go down that route. Well, I got this sooner than the other appointment I had attention wasn't until March of 2024. Oh, so, so you're going to get the appointment, like this part? Right. Okay. So I guess we'll just go ahead and knock it out. So okay, just, perfect. Yeah. So, so let me tell you about the, at least the diagnostic part of this. Okay. Thing. So you're going to get a bunch of leads on you. Okay. You're going to get a bunch over the head. Mm -hmm. You're going to get two sensors, nose and mouth. Okay. Two belts, chest and over the belly. Okay. So this can tell us if you're sleeping, what stage of sleep, how you're breathing. Okay. And you also get like a finger probe. Okay. To tell us your oxygen stats and see if you're dipping while you're sleeping. Okay. So that's the sleep study part. Okay. And do you have anything else? And you know it's at night, so. If so then I'll sleep here because my doctor was saying that I can that some people do it at home. Where... Yeah. Uh, there's also a home sleep study. Okay. So the difference between the one we do here, 
this one we do here because there's a lot more leads. Mm -hmm. Typically, better quality. Okay. And we pick up a lot more things. Okay. Um, the one at home is not as good. Okay. So they didn't have no more appointments until January, but it's cool. The girls there was, was so fun, girl. Now I gotta remember what the hell. I think it's this one. Girl, we're gonna pray it's this one. Cause this damn thing is scary. But anyways, I have to come here and sleep. <clears throat> I was like, girl, can I bring my humidifier? Because listen, I need my cold air humidifier. They said, girl, you is extra. Yes, ma'am. Extra is me, but check out the fit today, okay? It's given baby blue at its finest. <clears throat> so yeah. Now, we are about to, I think I'm on red, child, don't get me lying. But anywho, my doctors was cool here. They was cool. He had very, very nice teeth. He had very nice teeth. He was handsome too. But anywho, y'all, I need to go to get in this car, child. Where are my keys? I got them. All right, y'all, so we are out of here. Thank y'all for watching this video. Make sure y'all comment, like, and subscribe. Turn on that notification bell, and I will see y'all on the next video. Bye, y'all.